Welcome to another episode of Sideshow Saturday. We are doing a review on Surefine Purified Water. water. As you can see, it's clear, very low content. You can see through it. Water. Water. Let's try it. What? Smooth. Refreshing. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Five out of five. Alright, enough of this! Alright, so. What do we have for the real edition of Sideshow Saturday well, tonight this week? we have Pringles. We've done, what, four or five of those? Yeah, I believe we have a return of another brand. We have a return of yet another brand. From one of our very first ones, we have Hers Old Bay Seasoned Potato Chips. Now, a little backstory behind this. I was strolling through Walmart last week, or it'll be two or three weeks ago by the time this time aired. By the time it airs, I can't speak. Well, I happen to find these. Now, they used to make a crab chip prior to this. It came in like a silver bag, and I thought they were good. As a matter of fact, I like them better than Utz's crab chips. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking they made this as a replacement to their crab chips. It's possible, because Old Bay, you think Old Bay, you think crabs, you think... Yeah, and you, as you can see, you got the Old Bay container in the background... In all its glory, you got the crabs in the background, not included with the chips. Not included with the chips. No. America's favorite from coast to coast. You can see it's gluten free and zero grams I, trans fat and 9.5 ounces in the bag. I don't know about you, but I could go for a shrimp night one night. Yeah. Grab some shrimp, throw some old bay on there. It's tough. Oh, yeah. Uh, but okay. this is like the second best thing. This is like the poor man's shrimp. The older the better, celebrating three decades of hers old bay potato chips. So this has been around for like 30 years, according to this. Holy well, shit! Well, her, hers has. Originally blended in 1939 to spice the flavor of fresh caught Maryland crabs, Old Bay has become a coast to coast classic. This is American as well as the chip. It's America. America. And they have an idea, a recipe for crab cakes. Oh, Old wow. Bay potato chip crab Made cakes. Made with their chips. So you basically take. Okay, cool. You take the crab meat, the breadcrumbs, the potato chips, mix it all up with the crab meat. And make crab cakes out of it. Huh. Dude, that'd be awesome. I don't have crab cakes out So, I'm, I'm trying to think how... Well, at Walmart it was actually cheaper than that. Yeah. That's like the suggested price. But I, I think I paid like three fifty a bag for these at Walmart. Oh, but I bought the last two bags. Hmm. So... Well, you have to be greedy like that. Yeah, it's, it's like whenever Can Rays went out of business and everybody oh, bought them out. With. By the way, we need to do an episode on them. Yes. We must. We'll say that for a landmark. Yeah, big time. For those of you not in PA, can raise is like you, a very local chip. You are missing out. But let's get to this. Let's get to that. Yeah, so, some old bay as tradition, as usual, we are going to do the opening of the bag test, the serving test, the taste test, all that good stuff. The lick test. Yeah, the lick now. test that I just created last week. So, without further ado, let's get started. Serving per container, about 10 chips. So... So, you yeah, may, I'm going to do go the honors of opening this one. You may go first and open up the chips. So, the bag opens good when opened properly. Simple. And we always gripe about look, this. Look at this. Look. Test. Look at that. Son of a sea biscuit. Look at that. And then let's get a shot of the inside of the bag. Nothing but air. But... I yeah, am so disappointed. Look at the seasoning but, on that. Ooh, they make up for the. They look make up for that. Yeah, so here, you can do the smell. All right. We'll have David do a smell test also. Smells like old bay to me. It's kind of weird getting a kid's opinion on all this. Well, I mean, kids are pretty much the ones that eat the stuff. No. No likey. Okay, now what did they put on this? Old, old bay. bay. It's like a. Like a seasoning. Yeah, for crabs. Guess what? What? It smells like chicken! You think it smells like chicken? Is that what he said? Yeah, I don't know. Give it. Alright, so, yeah, we're... We'll get... We'll let you try us off. Alright, so, ten, right? <coughs> yeah, ten for the serving size. Now, I will give them at least a little bit of credit. Their chips are actually whole size. That's a good thing about a big bag like that, because with the smaller bags... They tend to get crushed up, or you get... Yeah, now, no, you're going to get them crushed up in the bottom, but you're not going to yeah, avoid that unless you have a Pringles. As far as, like, the... Getting the servings right off the bat, it, it's not that bad. So, six. That's broken, so that counts as seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. One for good luck. All right, so I'll do my serving size. Ready? 
And let's see. I got a folded one. That uh, counts. Two. They are three. High, they are good spiced. Four, five, though. six. I don't see really any chip that's not at Seven, least decently spiced. Eight, nine. There's a couple broken up ones. I'll count, I'll count <coughs> those as ten. That's ten and one for good luck. One for good luck. And Nala is okay, he's in getting, my crotch. He's looking for the biggest one. I can't find the biggest one. You want to try one? One or two? Nah. Here, I'll get you a couple. Here's a couple small ones for you. There you go. So we'll set this bag up. Oh, yeah. So I go ahead and try, you try it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he's not a fan. David's opinion, not good. <laughs> Yeah, see, I think we're doing more adult-based snacks here. That's the problem. Yeah, we need, um, to, we need to do more kids-based snacks next time he's on here. So you you went with first with the Pringles, or did I? Uh, I think you did. I went for okay. So you go first. So I'm gonna go first on okay, this one. Go ahead. Hers, old base, season potato chips. Let's try them. And I'm gonna dish the bag and squishy frog. There. Flavor burst. Flavor burst. And the lick test. I'll let you do the test. And we will do the multiple test. And the multiple test. The handful test. Okay, I'll do the handful test. These are just about like the crab chips they've had. Really? Mm hmm No real difference? I don't think I've ever had hers. Well, uh, crab chips. Yeah, but I kind of remember them tasting a little bit sweeter than this. But it's, it, it's almost the same. So I'm thinking that maybe they repackaged it. Hmm. Can anybody tell me, did they really put Old Bay in the, in the old crab chips that hers used to make? Maybe. They were damn good, too. I loved them. But like I said, I've never had any either the crab chips or the Old Bay. I have nothing really to compare it to, so I'll just take it word for it. I'm going to pick the... But it's been like probably two or three years since I last saw them. So my guess is they used this to replace them. <laughs> so he goes for the first one. Tastes like old bat. Mm. <laughs> Almost tastes like a salt and vinegar type chip, like really vinegary. Yeah, but it's not over vinegary. No. If not that at makes all. any sense to you. Now, you have this side or you have this side. Which one should I do the lick test on? I think mm. the one with the most on it. How about that? Yeah, so he licks it. The chip that is. <laughs> Woo! This is one of those chips that you either can't eat a lot of, or you better have a drink right next to you. Oh, they're addicting. Mine are gone already. <laughs> yeah, I was eating them behind the camera. Screw it. Go for more. So, I'm over my serving test, so that tells you right there it passed. What's wrong? You didn't look. Did he eat them? Yeah, I guess so. Um. They are heavily seasoned. I mean, like, really heavily seasoned. But if you're into that, I mean, there you go. Yeah, but if you're not. Like, this is me, this is me being a critic. If you like the heavily seasoned chips, by all means. Hers is your man, your man. But if you just like that tiny little hint of season, kind of like the Pringles kind, you're going to think it's too much. I, I Honestly, I think it's a little too much. Well, I'm going to say five out of five. They're really good. I mean, they're they're really close to what their original crab chips were, if not yeah. the same thing. Um, I'm not saying they're bad. Not at all. I love them. As a matter of fact, I'm probably working on my second serving here. <laughs> I just think it's a little too much seasoning for my taste. Hey. But they're good. So. But if you have like heartburn, don't eat these. I'll, I'll give it a four out. I'll give it four and a half. Hmm. I like them. They just need a little lighter on the seasoning. They can be good. They can be good chips. It's like eating uh, hot wings. But. Eating chicken wings. 
If you have the ghost pepper sauce hot wings, yeah. all you're tasting is the hot. You want to taste the chicken along with the sauce on it. You just want the chicken to have a little bit of a kick. Yeah, I think this has a happy medium, though. I mean, it, it they are heavily seasoned, but it's not like to the point that you can't taste the chip. Yeah, but if you're going to sit down with a bag of these, have this or a, another frosty adult beverage with you. Oh, yeah, this goes good with beer. Yeah. Yep. Well, I could see, again, doing like a shrimp night, like a shrimp and steak night, having these as the appetizer. Oh, yes. While your shrimp's being done. Just have these out like here, guys. Have it's like the teaser, chip. if you will. Uh-huh. Good idea. So, in conclusion, I rate this a straight five out of five. Four and a half. For Four me. and a half. So, yeah, and David, what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking 16 out of 100. 16 out of 100. Hmm, what does that come out to? That would be like a like a point five out of 5. So, no. I think he thinks they sucked. Yeah, that's big spring math for you. He doesn't even go to big spring. Well, you're right there at the line. Yeah. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Sideshow Saturday featuring hers, Old Bay Season Potato Chips. And we got more where that came from, and we'll see you next week.